Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby right here in the smiling coast of Africa by popular demand. You all want to see Juliet once again. I listen to you all the time, so I decided to go look for Juliet once again. But you know what? Before I leave this country, I'm going to promise all of you that Juliet is now on YouTube. need to congratulate me right eh? Juliet now have a YouTube channel and the name of this YouTube channel I have no idea she is gonna tell us ourselves man. Juliet, can you get closer? <laughs> Why you Maya? Why you Maya? 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 You, know, you know what? What the Maya? You put me into trouble I did by saying England is a dump England is an absolute dump it's a dump and London is a dump <sighs> Oh my gosh, how did I get you into trouble? Like my whole email, Instagram DM, everyone is reaching out to me. We want to see Juliet once again. Oh. Good <laughs> <laughs> to see you again. Oh, thanks for coming. Thanks but for coming. I told you that I'm going to get to your YouTube channel. Yeah. You, you said, what, what do you want to name your YouTube channel? Black Sit. And the reason behind the name is? Is because it's all about the black exit from the Western countries and returning home. So it's about us as black people globally coming back to the motherland. So y black sit. Juliet, you are smiling a lot. You look so happy. You look so free. <laughs> you know, why? What's happening? Yeah, I am free. I'm free. I'm no free longer in the West. I'm free of debt. I'm free of burden. I'm free of racism. I'm free of discrimination. I'm free of, you know, corporate control. I'm free of governmental control. I can be me. <laughs> I don't have to pretend anymore. I don't even have to pretend to like you. <laughs> so I can be me. You know, like in the previous interview, I asked you, do people in here like you? Say, no. They, they love, love me. <laughs> <laughs> they do. You know, you know what? Let me know because I'm, I'm in your compound. Yes, yeah, sure. This is my compound. No. This is your compound. Sure. You're living large too in the Gambia. Yeah, of course. You can live large here for what? You know, in England, uh -huh. If I was to rent a place like this, mm -hmm. yeah, if, or if I was to live in a place like this, I could not afford it. I just could not afford it. There's no way I could live in a place like this. And that is the beauty of coming to Africa. You can live, and people say, oh, it's because you've got lots of money. It's not. It's a fraction of the cost. I mean, you could probably rent a one-bedroom flat in England for what I rent a whole compound for. And a whole compound, this is what, six bedrooms, Two bathrooms, no, sorry, two, two kitchens, let me get it right, <laughs> sorry, two kitchens, five bathrooms, um, living area, uh, um, also chill out areas, um, dining area, wow. I mean, you can have a look around, you can have yeah, a look around, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, that's okay, take us around, okay, yeah. so that's just like the outside living quarters, so anyone comes to stay, they stay there, the second kitchen is there, the other bathroom is there, and there's another bedroom there, Oh gosh, come on. Sorry. This is Kaf. This is Kaf Ray, our son. He's eight. And this is my beautiful, wonderful, best husband in the whole wide what? world. Yes, my my AG. <laughs> Isn't that any trip there? You see that? Love drunk. Love drunk. We celebrated our fifth anniversary in the Gambia. <laughs> So, so this is like the courtyard which goes all the way around here. So we like sit down, drink ataya. Yeah. Ataya. ataya and uh, wow. yeah, just chill out. But this is the view in the morning. I mean, wow. have a look around. It's beautiful. When, when you wake up to this, tell me you wouldn't be smiling. No, you'd be smiling. You'd be smiling. All the time. Exactly. In fact, you know, I saw a cupboard underneath the stairs. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, advertised for rent in Clapham in London full of toys. and it was 550 pounds per month wow. for the cupboard underneath the stairs in Clapham for rent yeah imagine that money yeah imagine instead of having a cupboard underneath the stairs I have this compound so where would you rather live where's the dump hmm? <laughs> Where's the dump? Oh. See if I'm telling the truth then. So, ignore the mess, because I wasn't expecting any visitors today, but yeah. these are the two spare bedrooms. We have spare bedrooms, um, guest bathroom, um, dining area, living area, 
this <laughs> kitchen. That's that's the, that's the second kitchen here. So that's where all of the best meals are cooked. Um, we have a chill out area around here where we just chill. There's another bedroom here, storeroom here. That's just bedroom. That's another bedroom, and each bedroom has its own bathroom. Yeah. So we'll show you. Show them your bedroom, Kath. Yeah. Go ahead. Go on. So he's on his segue <laughs> in the house. And so this is his room. I hope it's not too dark. I'll put the lights on for you. So that's his bedroom and he has his own ensuite as well. So as you can see, all, all of the um, all of the um, bedrooms have got their own ensuite. So they have a bath. Because uh, in case people are wondering, <laughs> You have your open shower, so you have two showers. You have one shower over the bath, and you obviously can have baths. And then you've got an open shower here. And then you've got the, which is great for Africa, the bum wash. Yes, bum wash. Africans are hygienic. Yeah, they don't know how to use toilet paper, but they actually wash their bottoms. It's amazing, yeah? I love it. No, it's tell true. Me, Come me, on. Like, one, I think you live in luxury in Africa. Oh, absolutely. So this is like my room. My room's a little bit messy because it's my room. <laughs> I'm allowed to be messy. And this is my this is the biggest bathroom I've ever had actually. So I wanna show it off. It's like you know, just to show you. Okay, so excuse the mess everyone, because I wasn't expecting to be filmed, so but I just wanted to give you an idea, yeah? Of uh, and you can see Juliet's clean, she washes her underwear and hangs it out. <laughs> But um, yeah, I just wanted to give you an idea of, of uh, life here. If you want to see something, you have to tell me and I'll ask you a question, okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> I think you can do that. You live, in, like, you live in large in the Gambia. How do you feel now? I feel good. Like it's, it's like a big home for me. Like this is a big country for me. Wow. It's a, it's, Home, like modern England, modern America, it's just home. Wow, it's just home. Yeah. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to know, how nice did you home. afford to live life like this in the Gambia? Well, to be fair, it's a lot more affordable to live here than it is to live in England. So it's not hard to do the conversion, obviously. And, you know, I'm really appealing to other people from the diaspora to come here. So they've got the same spending power as we have. So what we did was that we basically had invested in property. Okay. And then, you know, we used to develop those properties and then sell them. And then the um, profits that we had, we would reinvest. And so this is what we did. We invested by having a plan. And I think when you have a plan, and you don't have to do it that way. Okay. A lot of people work and they save money, you know. Um, some people buy and sell and they do import export here before they even get here So I was like working three jobs at one stage just to make sure that we could come here because it was so important to me I had that drive. I think once you come here you get the bug Yeah, you realize this is the reality. It's not what they're showing you on television And so once you realize hang on a minute. I, I, I can live like this. I, I can have this this can be my dream I can do this too. It's, it's achievable yeah. and then when you go and you inquire about rent You don't have to have a big, you know six bedroom place like this You can have a small two bedroom place at a fraction of the cost that we paid and what we're paying is the equivalent to what you pay for a one bedroom flat in London so why live in a one bedroom flat in London when you can have all this, all this, all this, yeah? I, I can't, I, I, you know, I find it so hard to express. I read some of the comments um, yeah. after the last video and I was in tears, floods of tears, reading some of the comments about people doing exactly what we were doing, working day and night, working day, not hardly seeing each other. You know, we were like ships passing in the night, just trying to, you know, pay taxes, pay bills. You're living in debt. And I find that when you're in England, you live in debt. Everything's like a, a debt-made society. You live on credit cards, you know, everything you have to pay for. Here is pay as you go Africa. I love it. Pay as you go Africa. 
That is the best concept. You don't get into debt here. You pay as you go. In England, you know, you've got, you got, you got everything to get into debt with. You know, your basic phone bill, your IT, your, your, your internet supplier, your telephone bill, your electricity bill, your gas bill, your water rates, um, your, 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 your car tax, everything. Everything you do is just compounded by debt. You live stressful, you, your life is stressful. When I mean stressful, you wake up in the morning and you're stressed. You go to bed and you're stressed. In winter, you wake up in the dark, yeah? When you go home, you come home in the dark. It's like living in the dark and the cold. Let me tell you, even the illnesses that I was suffering from, severely suffering from in England, have affected me far less since being here in Gambia. I was, you know, partially crippled in the sense that, you know, I've had a hip replacement. I've had so many um, issues, especially with my um, arthritis. So I had severe, severe arthritis. I still do, but it affects me less here because of the sun, because of the warmth, because of the food and the environment. When you're happy, your body feels happy. Your see. body feels happy. I can see you're so happy. Yeah. But, you know, Juliet, you know what? I want you to save all that you're saying and then you're going to say it on your YouTube channel because you know what? They have to go and subscribe. Let's get Juliet 10K subscribers today. Post Yay! Go to her no. YouTube channel. Go subscribe. Ooh, but Hello. Hi. Hang on. Wait a minute. We're just filming. Yes, it's videos. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Okay, hun, we are just filming. One second. One sec. We'll let you. One, one sec. Yeah. 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 You just come in, yeah. So you might as well just put it in. Yeah. Yeah. Come in. Come on in. Yeah. Come yeah. On. Remember, I was telling you about the love. Exactly. Yes. Didn't I tell you that they love me? They love Do you love me? Love we love you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love me? Yeah. I love you. Love you you yeah. see, Everyone I told you. Everyone. So you came to see her. Yes. It's wow. my one and only one. One and only. The best in the world. I love you so much and Edge and the family. Yeah. The family. Yes. Yeah. They're amazing. Yeah, you they're see? my family so, also. Which means, which means they've been lying to them for so long. You see? Listen. Yes, you see? Lying. What did you say? Lying for what? So long. You lying see? for so long. Everyone loved you. The, the, this break between uh, Caribbeans, yeah. British, yeah. Americans yeah. and Africans, yeah. it doesn't exist. You see? It doesn't exist. It's only perpetrated when you're in the West. Why? Because you've got no time to make friends. All you do is work, work, work. Oh, yeah. You've got no time to actually make connection with people. Here you sit down, you talk, you connect. You've got time. You've got a life. This is what you have here, is a life. You have a social life. Jenny, you know what? I'm calling you Jenny, Juliet. Sorry. <laughs> 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 it's tell, right. tell them something, tell yeah. them something. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of like, let's, let's talk about the whole black diaspora yeah. who are looking forward to move back to the continent. Or those of them who don't want to move to the continent at all. Your mm -hmm. final message for that. My final message is come for a visit. Come and see for yourself. It's like the proof of the pudding is in the eating. Come and eat this pudding. Yes. Come and eat African pudding. You eat fufu. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Eat wow. egg bay. Yeah. Wow. Come and eat and come good on. food. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. You have to say something. Yeah. Say something. Yeah. To say something. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Tell well, people to come. To all the um, uh -huh. viewers, you know. And let them know that here in Gambia, you live see? a free life. Yes. You know, we're free. We have friends come around. You know, here, this know. is the life. Yes. You know, this is the life. And this is the life that I want people to come back yes. and see, experience it. You know, you could live in a compound like this for a lot less than you could live in a one bedroom flat in England. See? You know, and here you're free. Like now, I could walk anywhere. I don't have to worry about nothing. So, yeah, Safe. I want the people in the diaspora to come home. Come back home to Africa, visit that's it. That's right, that's right. You know, don't listen to the negative press. No. Because that's all they're doing, it's trying to stop you from coming back here. Yeah, up until today, presently, Africa is the most resourceful continent in the whole world. Everyone yeah, yeah, still yeah, feed yeah, off yeah. Africa. That's true, that's it's true. true. Right, right, it's Africa true. built right, all the West, Africa yes. built everywhere. Yes. Yeah, irregardless of what people may think. So come home, come back and let's protect this land. The that's Chinese right. here, that's why are they here? They're here to make money out of Africa. Yes. You know? So yeah, the Indians are here, they're making money. But where are we? Where are we in the West? 
You see? And it's time for us we to claim our land. We need yes. to come yes. back here. In the West, yes. you know, it's... I don't know. It's this is your reparation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah? yeah. This is your reparation. It, you, I, I, us coming back here is all about us even having yeah. a Marcus Garvey vision. Yeah? Mm -hmm. This is our restitution. Um, this is our healing. And I think one of the things that we missed talking about was the healing. Exactly. The healing mm -hmm. in your spirit and your soul. Your soul is rested when you come in. I can walk here at three o'clock in the morning and be dancing down the road. Yes. No one cares, yes. you know? I can be free, I can be me. I mean, I can be happy here. I don't have to worry about people looking at me. I don't have to be glancing at the back of me and feeling, yeah. you know, not safe walking down the road, clutching my bag. Yeah. I, I can be free. I, I don't even remember looking at the back of me when I've been walking here, never. Because I, I, can, I can just do one, I can party all night. Yeah, and I'm telling you, Africa, you can't party hard. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You can't party hard. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Seriously, <laughs> like every day of the week. Yeah. 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 So yes. people in the diaspora, yeah, come you home. Come, come home. home. In the West, come, come the they diaspora. give you an illusion of inclusion. No yes. Yeah? So always remember no. that. No stress, yeah. always yeah. happy. Yeah. Yes. I'm dancing like this African dance. <laughs> I'm so happy to be proud of you. I'm so happy to you. My brother from hey. another mother. mother. <laughs> you know what? Juliet now have a YouTube channel. Yes. From today. I mean, pause the video. Mm -hmm. Go to the YouTube channel. The description, go to the description box. You see yes. Juliet's YouTube channel. Link there. See? Go subscribe and go support. Thank yeah. you. My, my name is Maya. Maya. What's your name? Zaina. Zaina. Yes. It was really a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. I yes. love you. Thank you so much. I, I like you too. because of Julian and age. Oh, wow. Yeah. We've been friends for years, yeah, I should say. Years. We've been friends for like over eight years. Many years. Oh, over many eight years. years. So, yeah, you know, years. what I'm trying to say is it's not short term yeah. friendship like what you were talking about in your China videos, yeah? <laughs> like what you were talking about in China, like I see you, I don't see you, yeah? This is about long-term relationships and you get support here, you get help here, anything I need, I can go to my friends, they will find it for me. Your friends don't exploit you. Like yeah, in one England, love, one heart. yeah, you get ripped off all the time I in rip-off England. Wow, I love them. One love, one heart. They like everyone, and wow. everyone like them also. Yeah, thank you. Even when we go market, if you have clean heart, and people know that you have clean heart, God knows you have the payback from God. Exactly. I trust these people. Yeah. You see? Love. You see? Love. You see? Love. You see? Love. You see? <laughs> You know what? Yes. I'm just gonna leave you guys here. Okay. But don't forget to go subscribe. Black to Sit. YouTube channel. And the name is Black Sit. B-L-A-X-I-T. Black Sit. Black Sit. <laughs>